Dad. I asked Mom if she remembered to pick up my stuff at the cleaners. Turn around! What? You gotta go back, I saw something! Wait, 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 Mom, are you sure about this? So I like the fact that this film was actually based on true events that Lawrence rented based on his personal losing of his dog. Do you guys have any similar experiences to that or nothing compares to it? <laughs> you know, I've never lost uh, a dog like this, but I, I can speak to the fact that, um, you know, families are, you know, uh, they're a very complex thing. Mm -hmm. And there's usually one element that, that is a linchpin that's, that's keeping the family together, you know, and when you remove that, it seems like the whole thing is going to crumble, you know? And, and so while this movie is, is about, you know, a missing dog, in a lot of ways it's about what happens to your family when that one thing that was keeping you all together goes away, um, and, and how do you get it back? We're not getting a dog, right? <laughs> what are you naming him? Freeway. Oh, yeah. Freeway. Freeway! And Mark, I mean, you have a bunch of experience behind the camera as well, in front of, in front of the camera and on indies. I mean, did you kind of take anything away from working with Lawrence? Because I know this is Lawrence's first indie film. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, what I really took away from Larry and Meg is, is that um, you don't often need a half a page of dialogue to express you know, an emotion, which is my tendency, is to be verbose and let it mm -hmm. ramble. And, and he has such a great classic screenwriting style, you know, like like Billy Wilder or Preston Sturgis and, and and so, you know, occasionally I would say, Hey, can I try it this way? And and I would ramble a little bit into that that's that's got something interesting, but try this line, you know, and, and in nine words you would communicate what normally takes me hundred and fifty. Yeah, that's sometimes impressive. you can't set in those changes. You yeah. change all the time. With Larry, it's 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 there, you know, there's he no changes. It. He yeah. knows it, you know it. Mm -hmm. And it's done. <laughs> Don't you know how much that dog means to me? I like him too, I'm just not obsessed with him. You know more about your patients than you do about your own family. We've done everything we can. Would you be leaving if I were missing? That's ridiculous. Freeway's alive. What are you talking about? The women in my family, they have a gift. We see things. Do you see him, is he all right? I see trees. Wow, that really pinpoints it. Was it kind of a reunion working with Lawrence? Because I hear yeah. he kind of brings back the same people he works with all the time. Well, it was the cast were actors that I loved and had never worked with, and yeah, I was surprised to hear that you haven't worked with Dan Keen, right? Well, I, I kind of figured you probably would, but when I looked it up, we should have worked together for the last thirty years because it's we had so much fun. Well, speaking for myself, I, I had a, a ball working with her, and also Diane Weist and Richard Jenkins. I went to college with, but we've yeah. never worked together, um, and I, he's one of my favorite actors. So, but. Um, but Larry was the anchor for me. I mean, because I've done this, the sixth film I've done with him, and it was like a, a family reunion going back. Darling companion. We haven't lost a person. We've lost a dog. Love is love. It doesn't matter if it's a dog. Let me be your ah! champion. My shoulder is dislocated. You're going to have to put it back. No, no, no. I really, I can't. Once you ignore me, no matter how much I scream. Stop, stop. You're That's killing okay, me. Okay. I told you to ignore me. So this is actually your 11th film, correct? Yes. Yeah, but is it your actual first independent film? It is my first film. How different was that and how did that come about? It was very different in terms of the time and the pressure and the fact that everybody has to come on for no money, you know. Uh, there's no comforts, there's no perks, there's no big trailers. And so you know that everybody who's taking part in it is doing it because they like the material, which mm -hmm. is kind of wonderful when it's Diane Keaton, Kevin Klein, and Richard Jenkins, Diane Weiss, and they all come on, Sam Shepard drove out from Kentucky to Utah and stayed in a motel with his dog. Oh, really? <laughs> and you know that they've just come because they like the material, so that's a great feeling. And the fact that you have to do it under enormous time pressure, you can't go back, you can't have a lot of takes, it's, that added to the excitement of it. It was very invigorating. It was sort of like the bell went off, you know, the buzzer went off, and you played the game for six weeks, and bam, it's over. Carmen says Freeway really wants to come in, but he's got to hear a friendly voice. Okay, what? Don't laugh. Darling companion, now you know you'll never be abandoned. Love will always light our land. I can't depend on things that bug me about you. Never meant anything compared with how much I love you. 